Construction is about to commence on Cape Town's inaugural city-operated solar PV facility in Atlantis, located 40 kilometers from the city centre. Now, this 200 million rand initiative is projected to be finished within a year and aims to contribute between 7 megawatts and 10 megawatts to the city's elect electricity grid, rather, as stated by Cape Town Mayor Gordon Hill Lewis. Moreover, the initial power supply is anticipated by the end of 2025. Once operational, the solar plant will connect to a nearby substation, enabling direct power distribution to the grid. Energy expert Matthew Cruz provides additional analysis on this development. The city of Cape Town has just announced the construction of a 7 megawatt solar power plant in Atlantis, about 40 kilometers from the city centre. This is the first power plant that will be owned and constructed and operated by the city and it is able to be scaled up to 10 megawatts um, of solar and excitingly they are also planning to deploy an 8 megawatt hour battery system at the same plant as well which will be able to provide power in the evenings then from the plant. Um, this comes at a time when ESCOM has confirmed that they have applied for a 44% increase for the city of Cape Town next year. Um, and all those that are not getting supplied electricity directly from ESCOM. It remains to be seen from NERSA what the price increase will be. My estimation will be around 18 to 20 percent. Um, and thankfully, this uh, plant being deployed by the city of Cape Town will, will contribute to them decreasing the overall impact to the consumers of electricity, the poorest of the poor that are paying through their nose, as one may put it, for electricity in Cape Town. Um, the reason why I can say that is that solar plants at the moment are currently saving relative to ESCOM up to 50% for the cost of electricity uh, by being deployed and my company uh, for example Forest Energy is able to deploy a solar plant at a business and then charge that business um, per kilowatt hour 40% less than what ESCOM charges per kilowatt hour replacing ESCOM effectively so uh, no capital cost up front and immediate savings and this is the example of what the city of Cape Town is doing as well and uh, this comes at a time when they've confirmed that they uh, pay about 75% of their revenue back to ESCOM uh, for the electricity that they collect, the electricity revenue in Cape Town. And they are looking to roll out more plants like this to bring down the overall cost of electricity in Cape Town going forward.